I did a newsletter yesterday, you probably um, received my newsletter, and it, it struck me afterwards how inappropriate the tone of that newsletter was actually with war um, erupting in Europe. And I think, um, I think that actually speaks of how our baseline for trauma and upset just keeps keeps lowering all the time you know and I kind of think of what it is that we collectively have navigated over the last six years um, with Brexit, with Trump, with um, Covid and now finding ourselves with, with war breaking out in Europe um, which hasn't been seen in, um, in well, 1945, since 1945, you know? Well, um, so, well, no, actually, that's not fair. That's not true, actually, since Czechoslovakia and Bosnia. And um, so, anyway, I feel, thought that it was important for us to um, do a practice of peace and to acknowledge and be sensitive to the energies um, of, this, of this time, of this month, of this week, um, and, and lovingly send our prayerful energies to those, those people um, who are facing invasion and war on their doorstep. Which is very sombre, but I think it's necessary. Um, much of what I'm going to talk about this evening comes from an essay by Clarissa Pinkola Estes, who's a Jungian psychologist who wrote Women Who Run With The Wolves. And she wrote an essay which were, we were made for these times. So if you want to go away and read that, um, I think you might find a lot of it very interesting. Um, in, in how we place ourselves emotionally and intellectually at this time. But I'm going to share some of the readings with you. In the meantime, let's just come to stillness and take our arms beside the body with the palms facing up. And the fingertips are just floating just clear of the floor. And we're going to stretch from the little finger side towards the thumb side of the palms turning the palms upright. And then we'll take the hands back just a, an inch or so and feel that natural spreading across the front of the chest space. And then we'll pause and we'll wait. And we'll let the interior environment settle. And then without disturbing anything, without disturbing the spaciousness that we cultivated around the heart space, let's bend our elbows and bring our hands together at the heart space. And tonight, every time your hands touch, let it be a reminder to pray for peace. Let it be a reminder to act peacefully and to think of peaceful solutions in your own existence, within your own reach. And let's drop deeper into yogic consciousness by chanting one on together. Take a deep breath in. Oh. 
Beginning to work your breath now. As you inhale, guide the breath from the belly up into the chest. Allow your ribs to expand. And guide the breath all the way up towards the collarbones. And as you exhale, just gently allow the out breath to contract the ribs and draw you deeper back towards your center line. You're gonna to begin to move the arms in time with your breath. So on the in breath, open the arms up wide. And on the out breath, bring your hands slowly towards each other. And just work with this in your own time to your own breath. And have a sense of your emotional heart space expanding outwards into the world. And then checking back in to yourself, to your soul within. Moving smoothly. Breathing deeply. personal, compassionate, loving field growing ever wider with each conscious prayerful movement. Hands touching as our prayer of peace, as our act of peacefulness. Cultivating our space to think of peaceful solutions. One more. And then we'll release our hands down to our knees and roll our spine in a circle. Simple, soothing movements, easing the fear, diffusing the anger, cultivating empathy and compassion, roll the other way. Allowing ourselves to feel. Empathy is the ability to be open and to be vulnerable and to really listen. And using a practice of yoga, this experiential practice to evoke this. And then we'll come to stillness. 
On an in-breath, reach the arms up towards the sky. Hands come together again, another reminder. Exhale, stretching up into the fingers. Inhale, come really tall, look up. And exhale, in the shape of prayer, fold forward over your legs. Taking the hands to the earth, becoming prostrate in pranams to this idea, this prayer for peace. Three slow breaths here. And letting the tongue soften away from the roof of the mouth without reach out breath. And we'll inhale and look forward. And exhale and roll over onto the hands and the knees. Going to just move lovingly with the body, inhaling, dropping the belly, and lifting the gaze. Exhaling, rounding the spine and looking back between the legs. Flowing with this. On your next out breath, keep the arch in the back and walk your hands forward, dipping the heart to the earth. Keeping the bottom over the knees, inching the hands forward, arms parallel with each other. Gently softening the back body towards the floor. Anjali Asana, the Asana of the opening heart. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, slide your bottom back towards your heels. Relax your forehead to the earth. Bring your hands together and rest the thumbs down the back of the neck, elbows inching forward and then gently pulling the bottom back towards the heels. So you're getting a stretch through your triceps. Forehead soft. Breath into the back body. Two more slow conscious breaths here. Hands touching. Letting this whole practice become a body prayer. Release the hands. Inch them forward, inhale, look forward, hands shoulder width apart. And exhale, turn the toes under and press back to the dog face down. Hanging our head. And maybe you would like to bend the knees a lot this evening, or maybe you're happy moving into straight legs straight away. Letting the head go. Letting the jaw soften and the tongue to be soft in your mouth. And still, we don't need the arms, but each breath is a reminder of our expanding 
capacity for empathy and for compassion. And then let's walk our feet forward between our hands. Let feet hit distance apart. Inhale, come up onto the tippy fingers, look forward and lengthen. Exhale and bow in deeply. Inhale, look up. Stand up and perhaps bending the knees, pushing into the heels and reach the hands up into the prayer position above your head before exhaling and drawing the hands down in front of the heart. In this moment, we pray for peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe. As we inhale, let's push down through the feet and lift up through the arms, prayer hand reaching to the sky in salutation to the heavens. And exhale and bow down, grounding our prayer. Inhale, take your right leg back. You can keep the knee to the floor or you can keep it lifted. And then once again, the hands come up. Hands together. Exhale here. Inhale, and as you exhale, the hands come to the mat, and we'll slowly begin to straighten the left leg. And it might not straighten straight away. You might need to be patient. Find length in the back of your neck. Use the breath to find some ease in the mind. Becoming sensitive again. Drop the back knee to the floor, inhale, look up. Exhale, press back to the dog face now. Inhale, come forward into a press up position. Exhale, drop the knees, heart and chin to the earth bottom. Inhale, glide through into the Ujjanga Sana. And breathe out and press back to the dog face down. Dr. Este said, you are right in your assessments. The luster and hubris some have aspired to, while endorsing acts so heinous against children, elders, everyday people, the poor, the unguarded, the helpless, it's breathtaking. Yet I urge you, ask you, gentle you, to please not spend your spirit dry by bewailing these difficult times. Especially, do not lose hope. When you're ready, inhale, pull your right leg up to stroke the sky. Come high on your left tippy toes and exhale, bring the right knee in towards your forehead and set the right foot forward between the hand. Back knee to the floor or lift your jaw. Just inhale, hands come together in prayer for mudra. Let's exhale here. Inhale, reach a little taller. And on the out breath, take your hands to the mat and set the back foot forward and fold over your legs. Look up. Inhale, reach up, bring the hands to touch. Exhale, draw the hands down to the floor, grounding our breath. Inhale, left leg comes back, knee stays lifted all to the earth. Yogi's choice and the hands come together. Stay focused, exhale. Inhale. 
And as you exhale, the hands come down to the mat and begin a slow exploration towards straightening that right leg. Left ribs towards right knee. Shoulders soft. Moving down the back, away from the ears. Pressing into the inside edge of the right foot. Then we'll inhale and look forward. Perhaps bend the knee as we press into the hands to step the right leg back to the right foot down. Flowing through here, inhale, come into high plank. And breathe out, drop the knees, heart and chin to the earth. Inhale, glide through into Mudranga Sana. Exhale, press back to the dog face down. This practice is helping us move through the fear, move through the disgust. through the anger, and down into our soul. It's helping to remove all of the baggage that prevents our easy access to this beautiful space. Let's inhale and float the left leg up to straight the sky. High on the right, tippy toes and exhale, knee towards the forehead and then set the foot between the hands. Inhale and reach the arms up towards the sky. Stay present on the out breath. Right through the body, inhale. And breathe out, take the hands to the mat, sit the back foot forward and fold over your legs. Look up. Inhale, reach up, drop the tailbone, lift the hands up. And exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. And then exhale, breath, bring your hands to your hips, set your feet hip distance apart. Without hardening your back, just invite the elbows back so that the chest opens. Inhale, heart opens, look up, and as you exhale, come forward through the hips. Hands either to the backs of the legs, perhaps holding the big toes, or perhaps even threading each hand underneath so that we have contact between sole of foot and palm. Then we'll inhale and we'll lengthen through the front body looking forward and then hollowing the abdomen gently fold in. Dr. Estes wrote, the soul on deck shines like gold in dark times. The light of the soul threads sparks, can send up flares, builds signal fires and causes proper matters to catch fire. To display the lantern of the soul in shadowy times like these, to be fierce and to show mercy to others, both are acts of immense bravery and the greatest necessity. Do not lose hope. This spark can spread from person to person, from soul to soul. And then there is another and another and another inspired 
inspired by peace until we become a revolution of peace. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands to the floor, and you're going to step the right leg back about a meter, and you're going to have the right foot on the floor, not the heel up. So the heel turns in, and that foot is at 45 degrees, the heel further away than the big toe. Then from here, bring your hands to your hips and inhale and stand up. The hands on the hips are there to help you feel square to the front of your mat. And if you feel that you can't bring this right hip round, then walk the left foot to the left an inch or so till you feel you have the space. And from here, inhale, bring the arms up to shoulder height. And exhale, bring your hands into the prayer position up your back. Palms come together. We widen the collarbones and press into the heels of the hands. If that's challenging for you, make two fists or hold the opposite elbow. Palms bottom up to there. Inhale, chest opens. And exhale and come forward. Feel the weight heavy in both feet. On your back foot, pull from the big toe back to the heel, the inner heel. Slightly bend the left knee, inhale and stand up. And exhale and release. Turn to your right, maybe walk the feet a little wider apart so the feet are under your wrists. Turn your left foot out, push your right heel away from you and square your hips. Other, so you go the other way, Helen. So two of you going to the left. Left foot turns out, right heel away. Look, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Hips level. You can't see what's going on in here. <laughs> Anarchy. Inhale. Arms come up to shoulder height. And we're lengthening. It's from the heart out into the thumbs. Keep it open through the heart. Inhale. And then exhale. Go to the left. Now keep that left waist open as you go down. And then let the hand come down. Now twist and lift the right arm up towards the sky and look towards your thumb. Even inhalation and even exhalation as you work. Head comes back into space. Lovely trick on Asana's team particularly like the tiger, it's very good. Inhale, exhale, look down, take the hands to the mat and press back to the dog face down. Inhale, come forward into a press up position. Exhale, knees, heart and chin to the floor. Inhale, lie down on the mat and bring your elbows just in front of your shoulders. Let's take your sphinx pose. Lift your ears up away from your shoulders. Let your thighs feel heavy. And then soften the back of your heart space. There's a sense of allowing the back to soften towards the heart. Then we're going to press lightly through the hands. Extend from the elbow into the fingers and slowly but surely maybe hover the elbows off the floor, but don't hide the back. 
and let the back keep softening forward towards the breastbone. And then exhale slowly down. Slide your hands back under your shoulders. Turn the toes under. And you can inhale, press up to a plank position. And then exhale and press back to the dog face down. Inhale, float the right leg up towards the sky. High on the left tippy toes and exhale and set the right foot forward between your hands. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale and stand up. So you might need to set the back foot forward to come to the palm sottimasana position. So about a metre between the feet. Hands on the hips are there to inform you as the direction of the hips. Hands are going to come back into the prayer of peace. So inhale, arms come up. And as you exhale, the hands come behind you. Either hold the elbow, either press the fists together, or bring the hands up the back, palms together. On an in-breath, open the chest and look up. And as you exhale, draw the right hip back and come forward over the leg. Left waist reaching towards right thigh. Back of the neck, smooth and long. We will slightly bend the right knee. Inhale, come on up. And turn to the left, releasing the hands. Walk the hand, feet a little bit wider apart. Then turn your right foot out, push your left heel away, and get your hips level. Inhale, arms come up to shoulder height. Take a moment to lengthen from the heart into the thumbs. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to come to the right, long in that right waist, really long, and then the hand comes down. Then you stretch up through the left arm. Head comes back into space. And you're playing that head back, left hip forward, dynamic. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to window the top arm to the floor. Take the hands beside the front foot, or sorry, around the front foot, and set back to the dog face down. Inhale, high up on the tippy toes. And exhale, drop the knees to the floor and walk the hands in towards you. Come up onto your knees. Bring your hands into the prayer position in front of your heart. Pause, remind yourself of the significance of this shape, of this mudra. Press the tops of your feet down into the floor and lift your spine up out of your pelvis. Rest your thumbs on your sternum and press your sternum up into your thumbs. Press your sternum up into your thumbs and lift. Move the front of your throat backwards. Keep the lifting action, pressing into your hands with your heart. Let the hips come forward. And fold backwards. Keep pressing into your feet. Inhale, press into the feet, come on up. 
exhale and release. This time we're going to take the hands back into reverse namaste, so the hands come up the back. And you're going to have the little finger, if you can, pressing in towards the spine. If you're making fists, then work there. Press your hands into your spine. See how that helps draw the heart forward. Lift your spine up out of your pelvis, push down through your feet, and begin to arch around the hands. Hips come forward. Curling your spine around your hands. Push through your feet, inhale, come on up. And exhale and release. Third and final time, hands come back in front of the heart space. Mindful of the significance of hands touching. Pressing the heart into the thumbs. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Lifting the ribs up out of the pelvis, pressing down through the feet strongly and beginning to arch back. Now staying here if that's enough. Or some of you might want to take the hands and reach them away from you. Strong feet, hips forward, move the hips in the opposite direction to the fingers. And now push through your feet, inhale and come on up. And stay in the prayer position, you sink the bottom down towards the heels. Slowly coming down to the mat, walking the elbows as far away from the bottom as we can and then sinking the bottom back, stretching the flesh on the elbows and resting the thumbs down the back of your mat. We breathe. Continuing our quote from this essay. Ours is not the task of fixing the entire world all at once, but of stretching out to mend the part of the world that is within our reach. Any small, calm thing that one soul can do to help another soul to assist some portion of the suffering world will help immensely. It is not given to us to know which acts or by whom will cause the critical mass to tip towards an enduring good. Struggling souls catch light from other souls who are fully lit and willing to show it. Releasing our hands down, keeping the elbows shoulder width apart, keeping the palms together in prayer. Chop your forearms and your little fingers down onto the earth. Lift your chest, look towards your thumbs and lift your shoulders up over your elbows. Turn your toes under, push down through your feet and float your knees off the mat. Relax your head between your arms, but don't let the head come to the floor. Keep pushing down through your forearms and pulling your heart towards your knees as you cultivate the hollow back. Cultivate a sense of emptiness in the lower belly. And you can practice coming higher from the tippy toes as you inhale and as you exhale, stretching the heels down to the floor. Inhale, high up on the tippy toes. Exhale, the heels down towards the floor. Inhale, high up on the tippy toes. Exhale, heels towards the floor. Last time, inhale, high up on the tippy toes. 
And exhale, knees to the floor and sink the bottom back towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Let the hands come apart. Reach them forward. Inhale and look forward. Exhale, come up onto the hands and the knees, cross the ankles, and come to sitting. Bend your right knee and take the right foot over to the outside of the neck. Get your right hand to the earth behind you. Inhale, stretch up through the left arm. Exhaling, twisting to your right, take the elbow and the shoulder to the outside of the knee. Sit tall through the spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale, widen the right collarbone. Look over your right shoulder and breathe deep. Look forward and exhale and release. Extend your right leg away. Bend your left knee, keep the foot up, take it to the outside of the right knee. Left hand to the earth behind you, tall through your spine. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left and take the shoulder to the outside of the knee. Hand or elbow to the outside of the knee. Working here, look over the left shoulder. Drink deeply of the breath. Inhale, look forward. And exhale. Coming towards the earth now, you might want to have your jumper or your blanket close. You're going to lengthen your back as you lie down. Get warm. Bend your knees, take your feet wider than your hips, and then drop your knees in towards each other if that works for you. Have one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Honouring the seat of strength, honouring the seat of compassion within you. And let us take ourselves into the mindset of others. Let us practice our capacity for empathy. Allow your breath to soften and let yourself feel Let yourself be open and vulnerable and have the capacity to listen. Let the breath become very, very gentle. Everything become more subtle so that you can tap into those more subtle aspects of yourself you cannot get to the soul with a sledgehammer you get there with tenderness and bring to your mind's eye the community within the ukraine And in your imagination, pick a person. They may be old, they may be young, they may be male, they may be female. They may be a civilian or they may be part of the military.
like me, this person desires happiness. Like me, this person wants to be free of suffering. Like me, this person has experienced grief, loneliness and sorrow. Like me, this person is trying to get what they need in this life. Like me, this person is evolving. Stay gentle in your centre. Melt away the redundant defences of the heart. And know that you will still endure with elegance and with grace. Draw a slow deep breath in and out of the body. Bring some gentle movement into your feet and into hands. Take a nice stretch. moment to smile and be to yourself. Let the smile be another spark to help light up your soul. Shine it out into the world. Compassionately supporting others. Bend your knees and roll to your right hand side. Pause there. Take rest. And come slowly to sit down. Bring your hands back in front of your heart space. Not as a meaningless, thoughtless gesture of compliance, but as a meaningful, intentional prayer. Let's chant one arm together, take a deep breath in. Just 
Thank you, Helen, for joining me in the room. Thank you for those who joined me live online and those of you who will be doing it as a recording. Take care, stay safe, and um, I'll see you next week.